What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again with another video. And today we're talking about the MBO3 Dexter's Laboratory. So we're going to try and get these angles right. Let's go ahead and do this lace tutorial for the MBO3 Dexter's Laboratory. Of course, you may know they originally comes with these uh, black and white laces right here. But for this lace tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and put on, put in the alternate laces to give you guys a visual of how to lace these shoes in case you get confused or need help with it. Uh, you're gonna start off placing them in the first eyelid where the number one is. So you're gonna place it there, make sure you pull it through to get it even with the other lace. You want to make sure you pull it so they're even at the top. So what you're going to do next is uh, just pull these straight through the next eyelid right next to it on the same side. So you pull these through here like so. Make sure it's a nice tight fit and make sure that both your laces line up at the top still. After that, you're going to start to get into the crisscross. You're not going to go to this back side yet. You're going to go over you take the lace now, you're going to cross over to this side one. The first side one is where you're going to go into next. Pull that through there. So you get that, that first cross. Pull it tight. Make sure it's even through. You're going to do the same thing with the other lace all the way on this side of the shoe. So you pull this lace through this side. Like so. Now you got that double crisscross right there. That's how you should be. Now, right here, you have the first, right here above, right, right where my fingers are, you're gonna put your laces through there before you go through your next hole. Right, right where the MBO, the MB is, be blurry, right where the MB is, where my fingers are, you're gonna put your laces through this hole before you get to your next eyelid. Now, keep in mind, this might be a little difficult here, so you got to get a little, you know, personal with your shoe. But I feel like if you don't do this one, it might be a little different on the lockdown. See how I pull that through? Let me see. See how I pulled that through there? And you just want to pull that through the side. So you got that. Go from this side over here and pull it through. So it gives you that, uh, this is what it should look like. All right. Then you're gonna do the same thing with the other lace. Put it through that same hole. Like so. Pull it through like so. So this is how you should look at first. On that side, go around that side, right? So once you go from there, so now you wanna go through this eyelid here. So you wanna cross over and go through here. You don't go through this little hole again because there's another hole that you can sit your laces through right there, but you don't go there first. So your next move is gonna be going through these two eyelids and then through this hole right here. So this lace is gonna go through this eyelid over here. So you should be going from there to this one, from here to that. And this one goes from, from here to this eyelid. Pull that through there like that. Now you're going back through the tongue. Like I'm telling you, these have really good lockdown based on just the lacing alone. Then you have, of course, the cushion for the insole or the insole has good cushioning along with the sock liner. But we're talking about the lacing right now. So then you go through this hole right here. Boom. I'm telling you, this lacing is a little bit confusing. During the making of this video, I had to double check and make sure I was doing it right because it wasn't adding up at first for a little bit. So you have that crossover there. This is what your lacing should be looking like. Then you're going to take this one and go through this eyelid on the side for the medium. Boom. 
And then same thing on the other side, you're gonna go through this eyelid here. One thing that I do like about this lamello is that you have three areas on the tongue itself where you can put your lace through to add for more closure, more of a lockdown. Now, it's up to you if you wanna skip one or two. I don't know if it will affect you as much. Maybe it might make it a little lighter, but I like what they got going on here with this. So once you go from the sides, these two eyelids here, now you're gonna go back through this here, which is, is dope. Like I said, the lockdown on this is, is supreme. Very good. Go through here. Boom. Go through this one. Go through there. Boom. Like so. And then now it's up to you on how far up you want to go on these last two eyelids all the way to the top or you can just go right here you know so now you're going to go through the eyelid here continue through with that this one here we'll go through this eyelid on this side hopefully i'm not confusing you if you have any questions feel free or just play with it yourself like i said you can you can choose to not go through these holes that are on the tongue, but for the best lockdown, I, I suggest you do that. And then we can go through the final top one. If you guys are into that, some people don't like to lace their shoes all the way to the top. These come right above your ankle with the lacing. So that's why I'm doing it. Pull through there. Push it through. Pull through there. And that's pretty much what you got. Lacing them all the way to the top. You can take it a step further and you can take it a step further and put it through this hole too. But I don't think you want to do that. I think you want to use that more as a pull tab, you know? But this is how the shoe should look on both sides. This is the medial side. This is the profile side of the shoe. Got two questions for you. Let me know. If you're somebody out there who laces your shoes all the way to the top dubray or top eyelid, or are you somebody who leaves some room in there for you, right? That's the first question. And the second question is, so now we got the pink laces in the MBO3. Let me know which option are you guys going with in the comments below. You guys going, keeping it, you guys keeping it with the pink laces it does give some, some extra charisma to the shoe. I feel like you can't really see the pink laces. I feel like these pink laces are kind of hidden in the shoe because there's so much pink and colorfulness going on on the upper even though this is the alternate option i feel like the pink does stand out slightly but it also kind of blends in to me personally i think i do like the option with the black laces which it came with maybe going one black one blue or one black one pink might be a good option to go with if you're somebody out there who likes lace swapping these things is fired or nonetheless, either lace you go with, these are definitely on point. Which lace option are you gonna go with? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about these in the comments below. This is the MBO3 lace swap tutorial, letting you know how to lace these up because they can get confusing. Hopefully my video wasn't add to the confusion. Hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you check out these videos here. Leave me your feedback and I'll see you in those videos. Have a great day wherever you are in the universe. Deuces.